Yes, I think it's helped to change. Of course, we're still fighting the circus yes. issue, aren't we? we uh, we'd hoped that the decision would have been made this year, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. through government other interests and preoccupations, it's been put to the side a little, but we're still absolutely fighting for that. And we have a, a thing online to say, please, please try and persuade the government to... We've only got less than 30 animals in circuses in this country, so it's not going to be too hard. No. Mm. And, and your son works with you. Oh, well, he started it yeah. with us, you yeah. see. Mm. The three of us started it together with three other people who then went on to do other things, but we remained together. And you're off on safari next week, I hear. Yesterday week. Oh, yesterday week. Fantastic. No, today week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today, today week. <laughs> And is that where you get your inspiration from for your poetry? Because you've written a beautiful book of poetry, uh, which, is, which is called Tonight the Moon is Red. Where, where did you get that title from? It's a line in one of the poems. And what's, what does it mean? What's it about? It, it sort of means the world is awry, the world's upside down. Um, the moon should be bright silver, gold, cream, white. But sometimes it's red because of the blood that's being shed. Oh. So it's about... We face every day as we turn on the television and uh, read our papers, the horrors that are going on, which mm. are absolutely horrendous. And, of course, the animals can be forgotten at such times. Yes. And so you really have to keep telling their stories. I mean, in Syria, when you see all these refugees going out and trying to escape, they hardly ever talk about the cattle, the donkeys, the dogs. Where are they? Mm. Yeah. 